This video is going to show you how you can create and close out a work order in WinBoats. So to start creating a work order, go to Service, Work Orders, and Create. You can also press Control W to get to the same screen here. The work order number is automatically generated for you as well as the date created. You can use Service Tag if you promise to vote by a certain date. Put in the engine hours. If you are set up to service things other than boats, you will have other options here. You can select if the boat is owned by the dealership, where the boat's located, and what items came in with the boat. The next screen asks for the customer name. and the price level for the work order. For a work order you don't have to worry about setting the price level here. Each individual job can have its own price level which allows you to have warranty jobs and retail jobs on the same ticket. You can select the customer owned boat or if the customer owned boat is not already in the system use the vehicle ID is not known or not in the system checkbox below. You can add or edit the information about the boat. You can add the information about the engine. The comments and boat condition are just for you. They don't get printed anywhere. They're just stored with the work order. Here's where you start adding jobs. So to add a job, right click and you can go to add job or add a can job. We'll add a job first. So this is a job starting from scratch. So you can add a description. You can change the price level. The status. You can assign a technician. If the job is a comeback job, if the job is done by a quantity of units. Down here at the bottom is where you add parts and labor. Right click to add labor. And right click to add parts. So once you've added parts and labor, you can press next. The technician's instructions on the top get shown on the technician's copy of the work order. The technician comments slash corrective action get shown on the customer copy of the work order. So when you're done, you press finish and it brings you back to the job screen here. You can add another job by right clicking and going to add a job or add a can job. The can job brings you up to a search box of all your can jobs. You can select them here. Press OK and that can job gets added to a work order. The can jobs are just starting points so you can always edit a can job once it gets added to a ticket by right clicking and going to edit. When you're done adding all the jobs to the work order you can press finish and this opens up a copy of the technician's work order. The technician's work order has information about the boat also the engine serial number if it was put into the system. You have the jobs with barcodes to recall each individual job. You have all the parts that are already put on the work order as well as the shop labor. On the bottom right you have a barcode that will recall the entire work order. From here you can right click to view the customer copy. The part there is shown in red because it is negative in inventory. 
if you have to add more parts or more labor to a job you can right click and go to edit or scan the individual barcode for the job and edit the job you can also update the status once you've updated the status to complete and the customer is ready to pay from the customer copy of the work order which you can get to from the technicians copy here or from going to service work orders view and complete this here has the completed work order because the status has been marked as complete you can right click to go view the customer copy or you can go straight to cashier here we'll view the customer copy and when the customer is ready to pay right click and cashier this allows you to put in the type of payment how much they paid if it was a partial payment or if they paid in full you can select balance due you can put in comments for the check number when you're done press OK or OK and print. OK and print prints a copy of the work order with the payment shown on the bottom here so that's how you can create and close out a work 